got a guy who's a, a guy who's a non-recruited walk-on who didn't play much for two years here. Didn't play hardly at all. Played on some special teams, but got in the weight room, got himself stronger, got in the video room, learned what he was supposed to do, and hey, he's been playing really well. And you know, Jordan Jordan's been here now a year, and you know. Sometimes it's up to the young man to, to do those extra things to figure out what's going on. Uh, so the, the ball's in his court. What about Cheney? How, how's his progress? Cheney's uh, he's, he's somewhere in between, in between Latron and Jordan. And right now he would be the, the going this week. He'd be the second one to go in the game. Who else you got? Oh, it was a long injury list this week. Very long. Um, the doctors at North Oaks are earning their their due this week. Um, Carl Pearson. Who had a that helmet to helmet contact that I thought was a possible call there that, that, that was not called, and he he didn't after the game he didn't know what state he was in, so uh, he's he's not he won't travel and he may not be ready for Nichols. He he's not even to the point where he can start to take the concussion tests. You know when they get. When they get knocked out to a point of loss of memory, then with all the new rules out there today, there's a lot, there's a battery of tests they have to go through. So Carl Pearson, um, Sam Fairley, Paul Rapolo, those will be the, the major ones that have been playing a lot. Is uh, they did an MRI. There was no meniscus damage, but he's got a second degree MCL sprain. What do you see on the film from your defensive line? I'm curious about what Devin Walker and Jonathan Kitchen. Made. Jonathan Kitchen played great. Played his best game. Uh, right now, he's our best defensive line. Played very physical. Was at the proper point of attack all the time. Uh, Probably next on that list this past week was uh, Gerard Black, the Iowa State transfer. Played very physical inside, did a great job maintaining his gap. Played very physical. Uh, next, I would say Devin Walker. You know, Devin did a good job, played hard. You know, your, your defensive ends in, the, in, the, in that option game have to be exact on their option responsibilities. Devin played well, Justin Church played well. You know, we wish we could have got Frank Bryant more snaps because he's much more physical at the point of attack than Justin is. But we just sometimes, you know, Frank, when there's a, a specific uh, responsibility in the option, Frank won't always do do right. And. Uh, the last touchdown that they hit when Richard Sincere was at the Wildcat quarterback and they hit that option and popped it. And he went, I think, 36 for a touchdown. And that's a defensive end responsibility. And very simple, down block, squeeze, tackle the quarterback. And we got down block and he went up the field and tackled the sweep. And there goes the quarterback. Pew! Because, you know, you, if you know enough about that, when they run the key play, they're reading the defensive end. If the defensive end squeezes, they're going to hand it to the running back. We ran the safety and the linebacker to the running back and tackled him for a loss about four times. But the defensive end has to squeeze so the quarterback can read him and give it to the right guy that we're going to go put two on and tackle. So we ended up with the defensive end up the field. We ended up three on the running back and nobody on the quarterback. It, it's an assignment game when you play option people. So Kitchen played awesome. Uh, so did Gerard and freshman Galen Naylor played about 15 snaps in there, uh, giving those two guys a break, and, and he played well. Our inside guys played well. 
this week they don't play each other. <clears throat> but if Southeastern doesn't have the best three receivers in the league, then you'd say that Stephen F. Does. But, uh, are they as good as yours? Uh, who, you know, who's, anybody got an edge there? What, how, how do you see that shape? I know it doesn't really come into play over them winning and all that. But, I, mean, I would say that their two top ones are pretty stinking. They can, uh, they're playmakers. Uh, I would, I would say that uh, our three would probably be, but they're two, Crawford and uh, Roberson, those guys can really go. They're physical, they'll go up and fight for the ball, and they're really good at running with the football after they catch it. Uh, you know, Crawford is, I think, leading the conference in punt returns. He's like fourth or fifth in the nation in punt returns. He had a, had a couple of kickoff returns for touchdowns already this year, so he's their return guy. Uh, they're, they're very, very talented, those two guys. What's the concern there with some of the problems you guys have had in the back end this year? Uh, We've played well at the corner position. We haven't played great at safety. Uh, Tyler Stoddard, the true freshman, I think he had 13 tackles last week. In the run game and physical stuff, he's doing really well. In pass coverage, not so. Uh, if they could get the way they align, you know, we can get one of our corners on Roberson. Uh, but the way they align, they'll get Crawford on a safety. So we we got to do some things to uh, not allow him. You know, when we did their formation breakdowns, you know, they're two by two with a back to the field or two by two with a back to the boundary. Who are they throwing the ball to? Well, they've got one formation where Crawford has 21 catches and the most anybody else has is three. You know, well, when we get that formation, we can't leave our safeties one-on-one -on -one out there with Crawford. You know, we've got to get him some help. But then there's other formations where he doesn't get the ball. So we have to be smart enough defensively because, you know, we're, we're not good enough right now to say, yeah, 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 all four of you guys are good enough to cover that guy. You know, we have to do some things scheme-wise to take away some things by formation. So that means they're going very, very fast. And when they get lined up, we got to see, okay, where's the back? Is it two by two or three by one? Is the back to the three, the three or away from the three? Is he to the field or away from the field? If it's two by two, then let's get the coverage set. And we got to make those things happen very, very quickly. With the time change and less practice, you know, we'll be off the field about 5, 10 today, and let's go out there and we'll pull all our head, headlights up along through the fence and shine them through the fence and see if we can keep on going. But uh, so we're cutting practice down by about 30 minutes, and against a team where we got a lot of stuff going on in the back end. Are you using Kieran Jones nickel or free? Kieran's played free for the last three weeks. That's what I thought. Yeah. And and uh, I think he had 11 tackles this week. Yeah. You know he, he's he's done good. Had an interception, made a very nice play on their fast guy on the interception. You know, but again, there was some things we had to do. Like on the crossing route, they hit the Richard Sincere. That was a great call by their offensive coordinator because we were taking our safeties and playing them way up on top. Don't let their fast guys run by it. Well, they saw us playing deep on top, so they crossed one of them. It was a great call. And then we adjust. They tried again later in the game, and we took it away. Had a big hit on it. But, you know, it's a, sometimes it's really a chess match out there. And on that one time, they hit a crossing route on us but they didn't hit us for any big ones over the top like they had been in earlier weeks. So we got to do some of the same kind of stuff this week. Don't give them anything big over the top. Make them, you know, make them drive if they're going to drive. Don't give them any short fields. You know, you look at against Lamar last week, they're coming on the field on the 20, the 24, the 13. You know, after takeaways, we can't do that. Make them drive the field. Thanks, guys.